Right, morning fellas, welcome back to another Villa on Tour video. Massive, massive game this evening. Arsenal at Villa Park. Ooh. People are saying on Twitter this is bigger than the player final. Um, I'd, I'd say it's equally, you know, as big because it's a two game shoot off for Premier League survival. I think Bournemouth um, have played one more game than us and they lost against Southampton obviously in their last game so they're struggling a little bit. Um, but Watford are the ones, um, they are playing before us at 6 o'clock so I'm going around to Simons. I'm not watching here tonight, I'm going around to Simons again like I did for the Everton game uh, to watch it. So hopefully Watford get battered by Man City and then we can do some sort of job against Arsenal. A point is okay maybe, it all depends on what happens in the Watford game. But if we can win tonight it'll be huge but I just don't really see it happening. Arsenal have beaten arguably the two best sides in Europe in the last two games beating Liverpool and Man City, so not ideal. I think it's fair to say they're on a, a decent run of form, but I've got a few mates that support Arsenal and they're saying it'll be literally typical Arsenal to beat them and then just lose to Villa. So that gives me a little bit of hope. Hopefully they'll rest a couple of players from when they beat Man City at the weekend in the FA Cup semi-final. Oh, but it's big. I am absolutely, I'm just so nervous for tonight. It is such a massive, massive game. If the fans are allowed in Villa Park, the atmosphere will be absolutely ridiculous. But we're not, so we're watching it from the comfort of Simon's Garden. But before we get into all of that, quick shout out to the guys at OneFootball. Um, they've had a whole revamp of their app recently. It looks so, so good. Um, so if you haven't already downloaded one football, what are you doing? Top link in the description, free on iOS, on Android, on literally anything. So use the link to download it um, if you want to know scores um, in the championship as well, because that's hotting up playoffs, um, international as well for transfers as well, because that's going to kick off very, very soon in the next couple of weeks. So definitely, definitely download one football. Top link in the description. Um, when we're on the theme of shout outs as well, quick shout out to Luke Roper, Luke1977. Um, you can get yourself 20% off using the code MAX20 at at checkout that's on for sale items as well so a decent little discount at Luke using max 20 so do that but without further ado enough of the promos enough of all of that massive game like I said I cannot reiterate how big tonight is and I am so scared but that is fine um, let's head off to Simon's please Villa a bit of fight please do the job of the Villa boys hello Simon Hello. We're back in Simon's Garden. Um, it's time is it quarter past six. Team news has just been announced. Hit me. We run changed. Run changed. Yeah. Wait, not... Samata starts. Yeah, Samata starts. Trezeguet still starts. Yeah, we totally unchanged. Some people are talking about Davis coming in potentially. We were all right against Everton. We looked the better side, so I think it's sensible to keep it unchanged. Yeah. Maybe bring on Davis if you have to. Give it to me then. Massive game. What are you saying? Um, it's going well for us at the moment with the City game. So. Yeah, we've got the City Watford game. It's City 2 0 currently, so that's good for us. We need to take something. Yes. We could do with a win, obviously, but I can't see a win, so I can't put it to a loss because that'll just send us into absolute despair. So <laughs> I'll go for 1 1. 1-1. One, one. Yeah. I'd say 1-1 one, one as well. I think if we can win with Watford 2-0 at the moment, it's about the hour mark, so they could still get worse, but for goal difference, that's helpful for us. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to say 1-1 one, one as well, but if we can win, it'll be absolutely mental. It'll be so massive, but... State of this. State of this. You Arsenal love it. You fan. love it. No, 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 you no. Do. Not you at do. all. So, Arsenal fans' perspective. You're just beating Man City. You're just beating yeah. Liverpool, which is just mental. Massive two games. What but moment? are you going to keep it going? I'd like to say yes. I think 3-1 Arsenal, like in my head, as an Arsenal fan. But knowing Arsenal, us being us, we could lose 1-0. <laughs> but anything can happen. Your team's but good as well. Lack is, it's, un yeah. it's unchanged. Was it unchanged? Well, unchanged, but we signed Enketia actually. He's starting, he's come back in after suspension. So yeah. signed Enketia, Lacazette and Aubameyang. Probably the first time ever we started all three up front. Lacazette oh, and Aubameyang scare me. Mm. That's so, a scary team. It's an team. interesting team, but... He see. thinks they're going to win, we think we're going to draw, but we've got the flag, we've got the setup. we're ready for it. Massive game, up the Villa boys. City won 4-0. We win, we go out of the relegation zone. On a scale of 1-10, to 10, how nervous are you? A solid 9. Oh, mate, I'm trembling. You're not nervous. I'm not nervous, why would I be nervous? Get out of it, mate. Oh, Come on, Villa boys. Come on, the Villa. Ah, let's have it. Corner ball, Aston Villa. First man. Good ball. Oh! Tres. Yeah! Come on! Yes! Tres again, the Egyptian boy! Come on! We slag him off all the time and he scores! Oh Come my on. god, how do you feel? Come on, boys! What a finish, mate! <laughs> what a finish? What a finish!
finish, mate. Mate, he just lives at the back stick. He just Thank lives at the back stick. That was a great corner. Great. Come on! Mate, what is that? He's free as a bird, mate. Oh, what a finish. That, what fi a finish. that finish is illegal. Oh, my word. Look at that, mate. You see what I mean? Look at that. You see what I mean? who? So I mean though, Trezor guy, give him no time to think if he produces something. Like... Oh, I smashed my knee or something. Yeah, I'm fucking on my leg. <laughs> Probably my leg, sorry, bros. <laughs> I don't want to see as it stands, mate. I don't want to see that. We're currently out of the relegation zone, but I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. Heads on, there's still a long, long way to go. <laughs> oh! Oh my god. I thought he was going in. I thought I was in, mate. Jack Grealish, oh my god. Mate, that was written in stars, if that goes in. Well done, Tyrone Mings. Well played, Villa. Well played, lad. Well, 1 0 Villa at half time. It's looking good so far. I think first, when did we score? About half an hour in? Maybe yeah, a little bit before that. Maybe a little bit before, before we scored, I think Arsenal. Definitely the best side. Well, they didn't have too many chances, but they had more of the ball, controlling it, moving it around nicely. Um, the goal came out of nothing, really. First shot on target. Tresco, what a finish that is. Falls to him at the back stick. He doesn't have to think about it, and he finish it, finishes it very, very nicely. Um, Arsenal were on top towards the end of the first half, so it is a little bit worrying for the second half. We 100% needed a second goal. Don't know where it's going to come from, but the longer this goes on, a 1-0 advantage is going to be nervy, but... Talking of nerves, this boy I'm is nervous. Not, I'm not nervous. You why are nervous. I, why would I be nervous? We're going to win. I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, it's it's going gonna, it's gonna to be so close. Like, if we can hold on, it'll be massive. Because as it stands, we are out of the relegation zone. But there's still a full half of football to go. So it's going to be close. It's looking good so far, though. Up the Villa boys. Biggest half of football this season. Final half of football at Villa Park. We're underway. Come on, Villa. Come on. Come on, Villa. Think about it, though. Don't go mental. Just calm down a bit. <laughs> no need for that there. Just head, use your heads. 49 minutes, lads. It's like 90th minute. Oh, Mings. Oh, oh, great tackle. What a tackle. Who is that? Esri Conza. Esri Conza in the last few games have been ridiculous. Oh, Carnath. Loose, man. My boys. Drinks break, lads. Arsenal turning it on a little bit. A little bit nervous. Just for the people at home. Come on, lads. The last time we beat Arsenal in Villa Park, I wasn't even born. Go on, Keenan. Go on. Keenan Davis, please, right now. Keenan Davis. Oh, oh, Keenan. Oh, Keenan. Oh, God. Why can't he finish? Why? Oh, there we go. Oh. What the hell happened there? Thought that was in, mate. Well, wow. so this, is, this is what I mean, though. This is what I mean. Though. Oh, oh my god, a lick of paint away from being 1 1. Wow. Go on. Oh, oh, Jonathan McGinn with the effort, mate. It's got, this game has opened up. Oh, mate, we've had chances. We've had chances. Either side of the goal, there again. Either side of the keeper, yeah, it swerves, but oh, mate. Either side of the goal. Brilliant tackle. Absolutely fucking brilliant. Yeah. What? What? what is he He's won the ball there. It's just because he's gone down injured. If he wasn't injured, how is that, how is that a foul? Genuinely, how is that a foul? If he wasn't injured and carried on, that would not be a foul. It's because he's gone down, holding his leg, and he started crying about it. That is not a foul. Oh, Cleaver, what are you doing, Rainer? Oh, why did he just stay in his goal? Why does he keep coming? <laughs> just stay in your goal. That's a good ball. What is he running out? For? <laughs> he's coming to the edge of his six yard box when he's got four defenders in front of him. Yeah, yeah. Keep no, that's it, we've done it! We've done it! Please. Come on, ref. Where's this time coming from? What's going on? We have not had any stoppages. Steve, uh, yeah! Surely, surely! Yes! yes! Come on! Oh, that is Come so on. big! Oh, Come thank on. God for that! We are out the relegation zone. One game to go. It's in our hands. It's ours to lose. If Arsenal beat Watford, Aston Villa stay up. How have we done this? It's not done yet. It's not done yet. But that is a massive step. That is a massive step. Come on. Look at him. Come on. Yes. Play Sweet Caroline, Simon. Play it right now. Alexa, play that tune. <laughs> Hands, 
touching me, touching you. One, two, three, four, sweet Caroline, fuck the blues. Oh. Wow, 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 wow. It's important to say we haven't done it yet, despite us celebrating like we have, we haven't done it yet. Um, one more big performance at West Ham and we are going to stay up. Oh, it's not done yet, but Sunday's the day we could do it, we could possibly do it, but that was such a massive performance. How many times have we taken the lead early in a game against a top six and blown it? Oh, but we held on this time, we held on this time, it was close, it was nervy, but wow, we actually did it. I think you've got to give all the players absolute credit. I've bashed Trezeguet so much, but he scored the winner, he played really well. The fight and passion and just, just raw determination that everybody showed was something that will hopefully keep us up this season. Um, because based on that performance, we 100% deserve it. Arsenal were poor, they didn't really look up for it. It's classic Arsenal, like I said in the intro, beat Man City, beat Liverpool, rock up to Villa Park. And we keep a clean sheet. Unlucky Arsenal, but I don't really care. The fight is still alive for Villa. We are out of the relegation zone. Watford look like they're in trouble. They've got Arsenal to go to. We've got to go to West Ham. Bournemouth don't look like they're going to come out of it, let's be honest. But that is a massive win. I will see you on Sunday back here. Hopefully we can do it. Up the Villa, boys. Come on.